I'm going to share with you the secret to becoming a millionaire. There's a reason why no one ever said having big art was easy. It's because it isn't. How can you not be happy when you look at that? Don't miss it. I mean, proper mind-blowing stuff. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It's a fresh week here at Suarez HQ and as usual we've got a lot of art to create, more to stretch around their frames, more spectacle, more razzmatazz, more incredible things for you to see. Plus we're also out at a client's house. Enjoy the video. All right, let's get these boxes moved <sighs> out into the back. Woo! It's us again in here. No, I definitely think I'm going to need two hands for these. Right, let's give you a status update. So we're putting the tooth belt on and uh, just got the teeth to bite together. So you'll see just when Aidy moves his hands now. There we go, look. So on both sides of the carriage now, the tooth belt is joined together. I'm gonna snip off the cable ties. I'll tell you what, it was a bit of a job, wasn't it, mate? It was a bit. <laughs> but we figured it out and we're almost ready to give it its maiden test. Well, this is test 897 now with what we believe is the world's longest camera slider on YouTube. You're going again. No, come back. Come back. It's working. It's definitely working. Look at that. You're going away. But you can't go away because I've got something I want to tell you. I'm going to share with you the secret to becoming a millionaire. Right, so next job on the list, now we've got rid of the uh, first job, is to do a very small bars order for some of these epic, beautiful, colourful works that are sat on the floor. I've got most of the bars, but not all of them. So, let's go and look at some of the new stuff. So I'm definitely going to need bars for that one, and I definitely need some bars for that one. So let's get that order done, hopefully, and fingers crossed, be able to grab those today. We might be able to get some of these stretched around the frames. Bars are done. Very long bars. Have to start stretching some up. You got sticks, man. Lipid pole vaulting. <laughs> Sergey Bubka. That's who you remind me of right now. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at the live stream painting from last Wednesday. We haven't seen this yet. We're on a long weekend. Now we're gonna go and have a look, so let's go see what we've got. It really was, I've gotta tell you, an awesome stream. It's something completely different. Go and have a look at that. See? Wow. Yes, mate, look at that. Now the color is so different compared to live stream, unfortunately, with these cameras. Oh. These just being Logitech conference cameras, they just don't pick up that colour. I'll tell you what we did different uh, this week. So you can see that this is on a table. So we have these, these painting tables made, I'm going to say probably five or six years ago now. And we, we did it because we were in a previous studio where the floor was very, very uneven. So we commissioned these tables to be made in different sizes and they've all got adjustable legs on them. In fact, you can see we've done a little bit of adjustment with some uh, flat pieces of plastic to, to get this level. And then what this does, this stops the paint from moving too much, it doesn't go into one side, because there's a natural list in this building that kind of goes to where you're, you are now. So we made all that level, we've never used them before, uh, I don't think, not in the live stream anyway. And then we just went for it, just went for it. Bright, happy colours, I haven't done a lime coloured painting for a while, but I've got to tell you, the stream was brilliant. I'll, uh, I'll pop a link to it in the corner of the screen for you. I'm really excited about what came out. The gold's come out amazing. And that, love this. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super happy with that, mate. Well, I think we better get this one stretched up. Right, let's get it out on the table. Okay. Go. Let's go, go, go. There's a reason why no one ever said handling big art was easy. It's because it isn't. Still got a lot of paintings on the floor, but we're getting there. Nice. Look at that light. That oh. is stunning, mate. Right, well that was short and sweet. <laughs> As we got the canvas onto the table, we noticed that there were a few little elements that were a little bit still liquid under the surface. So we've abandoned it just for now. We're gonna give it another couple of days of drying. Let me show you what I mean. So down here, look, I'm not gonna poke it, uh, but down here is, uh, it's not quite dry. So you can actually indent it with your finger. And what, just one or two other places, predominantly in the areas where the paint is at its thickest. So we're not gonna risk that, but we'll return back to it another day. Okay, here we go, big reveal. 
Big reveal of a big painting. Oh, you're not even going to get it. Oh, is he going to get it all the way up? Oh, I don't know. No. <laughs> Fun You'll have to wait, everyone. Right, let's try again. Here we go. Big reveal. Oh, I say. He's only got it. Oh, yes. We'll take Very it out and get nice. it in the proper daylight. I think we should. Let's go and find a rack to put it on. Okay. Oh, wow. That gold just lit up then. Have you just seen it? It up? just lit up. Let's see where that gold has changed now, where that sudden flash happened. Now it's subdued. And as we walked out, it suddenly flashed. Yeah. yeah. And in the silver as well. And then you've got this little rifty valley kind of it, where the paint just stops. Dude, that is awesome. It's nice actually now that you can just see it for real because, you know, we've only been used to seeing this flat on the floor. And genuinely, this, when it's reveal time, when you finish stretching, you put it on one of these stands and then you can walk back from it you can actually see what it looks like and how somebody's going to see this every day, whoever ends up buying it. That is awesome. Right, do it. Oh, yes. There it is. Wow. So I've got to tell you, as we go all the way down, because eight is about four miles over in the distance over there. Oh, we've done this over a series of, I don't know, 10, 11, maybe even 12 live streams. Yeah. Uh, putting one colour on each week. So we just built the colour up over a course of probably two or three months. And that just looks epic. We've been waiting to get this done for so, so long. And now we've finally got it round the frame. And that just looks absolutely mind blowing. How can you not be happy when you look at that? Three meters. Yeah, right, let's go and get it on a rack, dude. And there we go, we are on. Well, I think that's about it, don't you, mate? Done. Yeah, <clears throat> so we're done pretty well, I think. There's uh, lots of paintings been stretched up. We've figured out the camera slider, playing about with resin blocks for the secret project, plus a amount of other things that we've done. So I call that a bit of a win. Now then, tomorrow, definitely don't want to miss tomorrow because it's live stream day. So we're going to get stuck into that as soon as we get in. If you're new here and like what we do, then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Hey everyone, it's Wednesday. Look, the sun's in the sky. It's beautiful, but sadly we can't see any of that because we're inside working. Lots to do today, including a particularly epic live stream, which is on the cards and coming up soon. But before that, we got a bit of admin to do and some things to order online. Cue the time lapse. Here we go, guys, a momentous occasion. Refresh that page. Refreshing. Yay! Yay! We just hit 25,000 subs. Another milestone hit. Woohoo! Thank you very much, guys. Thanks to you that we're at that. We are. We do want to hit 100,000, though. We, this, is, this is what we want to try and do, is hit 100,000 subs. And uh, we're a quarter of the way there, so that's always good news. So thank you very much, everybody. If you, oh, I'm up here. If you have subscribed, if you haven't clicked on that red button, look, let's be honest, you don't have to hit the notification icon if you don't want to keep see, seeing things pop up all the time. But a subscription means that when you go back into your dashboard or look at your mobile app and you'll probably see us somewhere. And if not, just start typing Suarez and boom, then you've got control. You can watch us at your leisure. Hit yeah. that subscribe button, guys. That would be amazing. Help us get to 100,000. So just hit the subscribe button so that there might be something you want to see. If you don't look at it, you don't look at it. But if you're not subscribed, you might miss something that you do want to see. There we go, guys. 25,000 subs. Woohoo! Okay, so that's quite a bit of admin done and some emails sent and all manner of other things. Now I'm going to try and do a paint order. I always have fun when I do a paint order. I say fun in inverted commas because it usually involves several paint charts and emails to suppliers and asking for pigments and always asking the impossible, that kind of thing. So I'm going to disappear in the pod, do a little inventory, see how far we get with the order. What a mucky pod. Spots of paint and a camera that's seven foot in the air. Right, 20 minutes to go before live stream. I don't know if you can just see behind the trees. There we go. It's suddenly gone very dark. Look, nice and bright over there. Boop, boop. Oh, the storm is looming. So goodness only knows what we're going to find when we get into live stream. We'll probably 
probably just hear a ton of rain halfway through. But yeah, definitely our nice summer's day is turning into something um, distinctly unpleasant by the look of it. Okay, so here we go. We've got 15 minutes before we start live broadcasting. I've got my amazing t-shirt on. Uh, you can actually buy these. Check out the link in the description. So I'm going to head on there, get my breathing apparatus on. And uh, Aidy's going to run through final checks. It's like taking off on a plane, isn't it? And uh, then we'll be about ready to broadcast. And tonight we are featuring the airline. So it's compressed air feeding through the airline up there. And I'm going to be doing painting this canvas down here. Well, and maybe another one. So that's all going to be great fun. Right. T minus 13 minutes and counting. Right, well, that's the end, the end of the live stream. Quite a long one uh, tonight, buddy, wouldn't it? It was, yeah, hour and 12 minutes, was it? Something like that, and uh, two paintings uh, created. I don't, I don't know if you've ever seen compressed air being used in art before, but we did two with a compressed air line. Wow, I'll pop a link up so you can have a look at it. Don't miss it. I mean, proper mind-blowing stuff. So now we're just going to get everything wrapped up, and we're going to head home. Okay, right, well, <clears throat> while AD sorts um, some uh, supplier issues out, oh, what do I mean by that? Well, we've uh, ordered a PC base unit that's now overdue and the company doesn't care. Well, what else? Yeah, we ordered some camera slider rails and they're missing off a delivery. So can't rely on anyone. So while AD chases that up, I am gonna wrap this up because now we're about to take it out to a client, hopefully, and pop it on the wall for them. Right guys, so you're gonna get first look at what we did on Wednesday on the live stream. That was a particularly, oh, let's get myself in, great night. Um, I did two paintings with a compressed air gun. I don't know if you saw that or not. I haven't now been in. This is, again, genuinely the first time I'm going to go in and look. Age is just on the phone dealing with something, so I'm going to go in and record it for you guys and see what we've got, because I was super excited to see it this morning. <laughs> Had to get some jobs out of the way first, so let's go and take a look. Whoa! Oh, look! Look, look, look! Oh, wow. Ouch. Wow. You, you know I'm normally quite chatty, but I just want to soak that up for a second. Oh man, do you know, everything I love about what I do is in here. Now, ge genuinely speaking, if you were able to catch the stream, you'll see I was really excited by this. And I did carry on towards the end of the broadcast with a few little bits and pieces, particularly that area. I had a little look at once we were off camera. And then I'm just looking at the way this is dried and the way the colors have come in and, oh, come on, I mean. I know it's shiny. I'm so, so, so happy with that. I, I could literally do this all day and paint like that. We're, we're gonna have to have a look at the other one, which is the one where we started the evening off. Now that's interesting as well. So of course we're using the compressed air gun, which currently sits up there at the end of the long hose. Goes down to the compressor, you can just see there. And then this is where we started out on the night, just with black, white and gold. Whoops, try not to fall over. Very, very simple combination. Let's go and have a proper look. That's really interesting. I love that as well. And then we did a base coat of white, which is uh, mixed in with some of the black, which has got some beautiful graded tones to it, especially look down here. Really nice. I'm trying to gray things out towards the edges. Look at that. That's the shot. Wow. Incredible. Did some phenomenal stuff. I'm really, really, really super happy with that one. And then this completely the opposite end of the scale. I think you'll agree as far as styles go, but with the same technique and two completely different paintings and that, I just don't think that could be any better than, than it is and I'm loving it. And that's it, guys, you've got to see that first. That's my first walk in to have a look at this since I left here on Wednesday, we were out yesterday. Oh, I literally can't wait to get that round of frame. Magnificent. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Right, after lots of admin, <laughs> phone calls, emails, now we're gonna head to the client.
so we're back at base now that's a very happy client uh, done but we did actually stop off for a bit of a pub lunch cheeky one we haven't had one for such a long time for obvious two reasons years. yeah nearly two years uh, but now we're back at base yeah we had a great time there met the people that owned it in fact we might even put some images a little bit of video of where we've just been but for now let's get back inside and carry on right then so question is is this now ready to be stretched around the frame it isn't <laughs> Is this blue, as you've probably just seen, still a little bit uh, loose? I just put a few dents in it, so I think we're probably going to wait after the weekend. Hopefully, see that settle down a little bit. Are we ready for the big reveal? Here we go! Ta da! Ta da! Oh, I bet that gold looks good. I've got to get it flashing in the light somewhere. Well, there's a flash in the light. Yeah, tricky to know. Oh, there's a bit of flashing up there. Go oh, tilt it back, tilt it yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, there, there. You can see the gold now. Yeah. See that flashing. That all there. All you right. got it? Nice. All right. There, don't watch that. Whoa, oh. Focus, focus. So there we go, and that was done on one of the live streams. I'll pop a link down in the description, and uh, we think we've already got a title for it. What's the title, buddy? Moon Harvest. Not Harvest Moon, but Moon Harvest. There we go, let's get it out and put it on. 